once he starts turning around, that's when you make your move, like that. So let's kind of make our move right now. Don't get too close. Whoa, he almost saw me. Yeah, he almost saw me. That was kind of close right there. Hi guys, Captain Pound up here. Welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda the, the Wind Waker. In the last episode, well, we've had help from the pirates who shot us into this forsaken fortress. And I figure if we're going to be caught in one of these spotlights, we're definitely going to be um, taken. We have no sword to defend ourselves. We're going to need one of these barrels. And actually, kind of sneak around. Get around this thing. You always wanted to take your time around this. Because you don't know when the spotlight will be returning. And you want to take your time. It's coming back again. But yes, in the last episode, well, we made it to the Forsaken Fortress. And now, we are now trying to sneak our way through. The um, Forsaken area. Now, mind you, you would want to take those spotlights out as quickly as you possibly can. So let's go ahead and try that. There are two floors in this area. We have not been given a map. We've got the aerial, the standard map that we see from the outside. Because, you know, this is a quadrant. We have not gotten anything that would indicate a map we can use quite yet. So, kind of let's sneak around here and see what we can find about doing. And I think that's the pirate ship out there. Now, we can't even get up top there. But, yeah, as you can see in the distance, that's the pirate ship. They're looking. Yeah, you know, in the background there, so they're not, you know, Paying attention, to mind, paying mind to that. Whoa! Listen up, Paladin. There's a monster running that searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have to do is have is that she is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows to see if I can make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you can pick up its weapon with A. Well, that's just me. What you'll do? What will you do? Well, we can do that. What Tetra said. There's also an alternative. Because the only way we can actually defend ourselves is by holding first L. Surprise! Because that will shut that down. Come on down. Aha! You can throw it, swing this. Swing it a couple times. There you go. Yeah, that's the way to do it, buddy. Alright, so now the searchlight is shut down. They cannot use this anymore. I don't know why I went to this, but we used the first point of view. Yeah, there you go. So that shut shut down the searchlight. We have to go through each one and shut down all of them before we're going to get by this. So, now that will be the next one we'll have to do for sure. Somehow we're going to have to get over to that one and that one there. And of course over there is the pirate ship. They're kind of watching us from a distance. Te at least Tetra is. So, we need to keep go around here. I recommend staying on the second floor. There's a hard piece on the first floor, but I recommend kind of leaping on that one. Just don't get too close where you'll be detected. 
Also, be careful. Watch above these doors. There is uh, this trap uh, on top of one of them. You want to be mindful of that. So let's keep going here. Go through all the doors here. All right, there's a treasure there. Yeah, you want to use that. Yep. There we go. All right, use that. Something in here. Let's check it out what it is. Alright, got the map, so we can use the dungeon map. Now, mind you, the dungeon map would be quite handy because there's two floors of this. Right now, let's just kind of. The interior of the Forsaken Fortress. We'll have the exterior. This is the prison they'll throw you in um, if you get caught. So. Just so you know. Ow. I mean, right now, we're just trying to get... Our objective is right now. Is, you know, get the sword back. So... This is kind of a starting point to where you actually need to get going. So, let's go ahead and just... Use this. Get it back over. And let's just keep going around. going around. Just be careful not to get go to exteriors too quickly without knowing what you're actually doing. Alright, looks like we got a ladder up here. Looks like it might lead to another searchlight. But if we get these searchlights I mean, gone, we'll we'll have a clear path to actually, you know, completing this area. Got that. Come over here. Alright, so we might as well just break it. Come on over here, little jerk. Come on. Over here. Yeah, yeah let's just do it. Uh, not a good idea. Come on, swing it again. Trying to pick this up. I probably threw it again. That's the problem. Come on. He'll just go back to the thing. He <laughs> goes back to his pose once he doesn't see it again. But that's a joy pendant. Um, keeping the spoils back, we'll deal with that later on. So just don't worry about it. Active field blossoms. Okay, so. Now we disabled this searchlight, so that's two of three we disabled. That is officially the last one we have to get. It looks like. Yes, it is indeed. So let's find the way back down from here. We don't want to go this way. Where's the way we came? I didn't need to find the way we came. Alright, so it looks like. Where's the freaking ladder? This way doesn't seem prom. Oh, yeah, this is the way. So we need to go back. Looks like counterclockwise. Now, I, I said there's a heart piece. We're not actually going to get everything here at this just this juncture. So. Because there's a heart piece here, I'd much rather wait on that until we actually have a little bit of defense, have our offensive capability up. Because we need to kind of, you know, not squander our energy a little bit. So let's go ahead and go this way. Because we need to get to this searchlight. Get it from here. No, not from this one. You get to go one more, one more across. So let's go ahead. Go across through this. All right. So there's a treasure chest here. 
Not sure what this is all about. Alright, we got the compass. Alright, so you need hidden things in the dungeon. Press up. See for yourself. It just tells you where the treasure maps, treasure at. We'll come back and get that. I mean, I'll, but whenever we won't get the, um, be able to do anything once we get the sword, and that's about the only time we can actually. Well, you could get it earlier if you do a lot of sneaking around. But you know, my suggestion is stay incognito when doing this because. Um, um, once they see, they're gonna send you back to the beginning of this, and it's, I don't think it's advisable to kind of get caught, you know, doing this, you know, thus far. So let's just kind of hold our jets about this a little bit. All right, so I believe this is where the third and final searchlight is. Yeah, it's beginning to look like it. It is. So here's the last searchlight. That's where the sister is at. You kind of get, we're kind of getting warmer on the location. You want to stay pretty incognito when you uh, go through this because the searchlight, you'll be automatically sent to that jail we saw at the beginning there. So let's go ahead and yeah, see. There's there's the active searchlight right there. We need to. Throw this against the wall, pick it up, just remember to press B and not A. I'm dealing with this guy because we have not had our sword yet. Oh crap. Ow! Just stop it! Just go back to your post. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, darn it! Uh, All right, I'm about to die if this keeps up. Uh, uh, yes, I know, I'm about to die. All right, yes, I know. But we disable all the searchlights, which is our now that objective is complete. We'll deal with that later. Because we'll not only come back to this place like once, but also a couple times th throughout the game. So we can go back down there if we wanted to. I don't want to. Well, actually, we're not going to have much of a choice. Okay, we will go back now because that's the way we got to go. Yes, I know. I'm almost out of life. And right, we got to continue going uh, counterclockwise through this area. I think we'll make it a little bit longer than usual episode today. For today's episode, yes, Link, I know you're hurting. Yep! Yep! Alright, so go through here. I know there's a heart piece here. We really are not going to worry about it that much. If I'm not mistaken, there. Oh, there's nothing on top of that. Alright, good. I was kind of worried. All the searchlights remain disabled. It's pretty good, so we have a little bit more breathing room. So let's go ahead and go through here. I think this takes us where we need to go. Yeah, this is what I thought. Moblins! Introducing the Moblins in this series. We need to get over here. And these moblins will, you know, kind of follow a particular path. Just, you know, kind of watch it. You know, kind of watch them with your free camera. You know, watch how they move. Watch how far they go. And also, you got these mice that will hamper your progress. And these are the little. If you want to see pigs, this is your, no exception. And yeah, just kind of make your way around. And you'll be doing some little... We're not in the clear quite yet, because we got some more sneaking around to do. So, uh, we got... This is kind of the nervous part, you know, how far you actually got to go with this, just to 
you know, get up here to see your, where your sister is at. Yes, Link, I know you're hurting. There's nothing I can do, buddy. At this point. I mean, you can still be set back to the beginning if you're not being careful. Alright, so this is this. Gotta get something to drink while we're waiting for this guy. Ugh, pardon me. This is where the free camera really works. Because he does come quite a bit out, but he turns back. But once he starts turning around, that's when you make your move, like that. So let's kind of make our move right now. Don't get too close. Whoa, he almost saw me. Yeah, he almost saw me. That was kind of close right there. Just kind of sneak up. Just in case, but he's too far away. But he's been known to kind of run from far distances and attack you, but that was... Whew. Oh! Yeah, that was sort of close, but until you get your sword, you're not gonna be able to defend, fight, fight against him or anything like that. So I'm gonna wait until he turns to the right from this camera angle. Yes, Link. I know you're hurting. I know you're hurting so much right now. Kind of playing it safe. You want to play it safe somewhat because you don't have a sword quite yet. And you're not able to do much as of right now. I think we'll make a 20 minute. We put close this closer to 20 minutes right now. It's off the screen sights right now, so I think we're pretty much safe. We got we came close last time. But we still got a lot to do. We're not even, we're close to our sword, but all right. So we want to get over here. I want to do a siddle like this. And you want to do this quite carefully, you know what I'm saying. Just kind of back against this wall so that you're not kind of in the way. Now, we got some extra chances here, but we don't want to go back, so let's kind of do the same thing with this. Siddle your way through by holding A. Got a heart. And we're getting closer because we hear the seagulls. So, alright, so we're good. Now, quickly go up. Oop. There's the sword. Right next to him. How do I do this? Uh, we're gonna have to fight him no matter what, so let's kind of dash and get it. Uh oh. Yeah, we kind of alerted him already. Boss time. But we got our sword back, so we can actually. See, so you got back the sword, now you're in business. Take care not to drop it again, so let's go for it. Oh, I love this mini boss. Just a duel. There we go. A little uppercut like that. That would definitely take some hit points away. Heart points away from that. So now. We now we cannot go back. So there we go. 